Leave me alone. By Vera Rosco. Once there was an old woman. She lived in a small village in a small house with a very big family. Winter was coming. That meant she had some very important knitting to do. But it wasn't getting done. Her grandchildren were very curious about her knitting. Were you supposed to hit the ball with a stick? Could you eat it? Could you make your brother eat it? Why did the ball get smaller and smaller as you chased it? The old woman was at the end of her rope. So she made her bed as neatly as she could. She swept the floorboards until they more or less shone. She drank tea from her samovar. She packed up her things in a big sack. And as she left, she shouted back. Leave me alone. The old woman walked through the deep, dark forest. She made a fire so that she could see what she was doing. Then she sat down and began to knit. The bear family was very curious about the light from her fire and about what she might taste like. Leave me alone, the old woman shouted. But they didn't listen because bears don't speak English. So she picked up her sack and left. The old woman climbed up the mountainside. It was cold, so she found a small, sheltered place. Then she sat down and began to knit. The mountain goats were excited to have a visitor, especially one that brought snacks. <coughs> Leave me alone, the old woman shouted. But the goats were too busy fighting over the red ones, which they all agreed were the best. So she picked up her sack and left. The old woman climbed higher and higher up the mountain. She reached the top and climbed onto the moon. She found a rock that was shaped like a chair. She sat down and began to knit. The little green moon men had never seen a woman before. Old or otherwise, they examined her with handheld scanners that went beep, boop. Leave me alone, the old woman shouted. But the little green moon men couldn't hear her because they didn't have any ears. So she picked up her sack and left through a wormhole. The void on the other side of the wormhole was very dark and very, very quiet. She was absolutely, completely, utterly alone. It was perfect. Soon she had no more yarn and 30 little sweaters. And she was alone. So, she put the 30 sweaters into her big sack. She swept the void until it was a nice matte black. She had a cup of tea from her samovar. Then she picked up the sack and left through another wormhole. When she came out the other side, everything was right where she'd left it. And she didn't say a word.